Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. Once again, a special welcome back to Cook and Share. I love tuna. Look at that fish going by. So I decided to make up these great tuna cakes. Just absolutely delicious, easy to make. You're gonna love them. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, what I've got here guys to kick things off are some mashed potatoes and I've just boiled these for about 20 minutes until they're fork tender. And I'm going to add in a couple of tablespoons of milk, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and I always add garlic to my mashed potatoes. You might think it's a little bit strange, but it's really good. And this is somewhere in the neighborhood of a teaspoon. And of course some salt. And my all time favorite, some ground black pepper. Now I'm gonna take my masher, which I often refer to as a smasher, and mash these up. Once we're all mashed up, and I should add, this is a great recipe just for mashed potatoes alone, but you know, we're going another step with this. I'm going to add in half a cup of grated old cheddar cheese. And because it, they are tuna cakes, a can of drained tuna, a couple of hundred grams, and a stalk of green onions that I've chopped. Grab up my wooden spoon, and let's mix everything together here. I have to say, guys, I'm a bit hoarse today. I've been yapping on the phone for an hour before we film, so you just have to bear with me. But horse isn't bad. <laughs> Now I'm going to take my baking dish and add the contents to it. And this is about a 9 by 9. Another thing I should mention, you can add a bit of mayo to this, but I think it's an overkill. But that's entirely up to you. Now I'm just going to flatten this out so it looks nice and pretty. And I have given this a taste test, guys, and it is good. Next up, I'm going to take some parchment paper and place it over the top. And just give it a smoothie outie again with my hands. Then I'm going to put this in the fridge for about 20 minutes or half an hour just to set. And after about half an hour in the fridge, I'm going to remove the parchment paper and look at that perfection. I'm going to grab a round object, and this is about three or four inches in diameter. Put it around the edge and just kind of twist it out. And you can just beautify this so it looks like a patty. Doesn't that look pretty? Now I'm going to dip each patty in the dredging station, and first of all is the flour. And this is just all-purpose flour. Second is a beaten egg. I always alternate hands. I get teased for it, but it does kind of save on the mess. And last but not least, the Italian breadcrumbs. I like Italian, but you can use panko, whatever you like. Now I'm going to set these aside on a plate lined with some parchment paper. And you're going to get seven or eight patties out of these, depending on how big you make them. The great thing is, too, you can freeze these up and use them again at a later date. Next up, I've got my pan here over medium-high heat. And I'm going to add a fair amount of olive oil to this. You can use vegetable oil too if you like, I just like olive oil. And I'm going to drop the patties in and fry them up on each side till they're a beautiful golden brown. Now you might need to do this in batches. Now they're a nice golden brown, I'm just going to give them a flip over and fry them for a few minutes on the other side. After about three or four minutes, they're a beautiful golden brown. So I'm going to remove them and set them aside on a wire rack. I'm doing these in batches of four. And there you have it, guys, our wonderful, easy and delicious tuna cakes. You gotta make these. So 
So let's go ahead and give this a taste test. And I'm going to dip this into some sour cream. Oh, oh this is going to be so good. Mm, guys, these are so good. The flavors just shine through. You got to try them. Everybody, believe me, everybody is going to love them. For the full scoop on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of great stuff over there, and I'll put a link in the description section below as always. Thanks for watching, thanks for subbing, and see you next time.